My mother asked me about installing a temporary fence to keep her new puppy from straying onto the shared driveway. She lives in rented accommodation and so a permanent fixture was out of the question. I played around in Google SketchUp with some ideas for a freestanding fence, but the issue of money prevented me from building an 8.5 metre run or picket fencing. With approval for a cheaper solution, I bought about £17 worth of tantalised timber and began cutting the poster length by hand. The saw I'm using has a Teflon coating and glides easily through wet wood. Each post was about two foot long and then I needed to cut a load of 4 by one timber to make the feet. Before installing the feet, I pre-drilled and countersank two holes in each piece. Having two drills is very handy here. Each post will have four 9 inch long feet and I also decided to taper the width of each foot for aesthetic reasons. My reciprocating saw struggled to cut the wet wood and so I had to revert to using a hand saw for this. It took a while and a lot of work, but for outdoor projects you don't always need a high level of perfection. Here you can see the five posts with two feet attached to each of them. I did use Gorilla Glue as well as two two and a half inch deck screws, but it's probably overkill. Any resemblance to a swastika is purely coincidental, although my design for a freestanding fence post was inspired by results of a Google image search. I had hoped to be able to round over the tops with my reciprocating saw, but had to settle for cutting the corners off and treating the end grain with an end steel treatment. A jigsaw with the right blade probably wouldn't have done a good job. It took me two hours to get all the wood cut and assembled. On the following evening, I spent one hour attaching the wire fence to each of the posts with cable ties. This fence is about half a metre or 20 inches high. So this is Billy and he's happy he can now run around without supervision. This fence seems to be working well enough and it could easily be removed and relocated if or when required. I do hope someone will find this useful and I thank you for watching. If you're interested in hiking and the outdoors then you may also be interested in my second channel on the outdoors.